So, hello, good afternoon. Uh, welcome to our webinar today. The topic is the Fronius Gen 24 Plus Inverters. Uh, I'm very pleased to uh, introduce first uh, the team. Uh, my name is Hans Pelzer. I'm uh, doing the presentation now for the next uh, about 30 minutes. And beside me is Christoph Schillinger. He is in the chat. He will answer your question during this presentation. So feel free to send us your questions and we will try to answer that immediately and also come back to you uh, later when uh, at the end of the presentation to answer uh, uh, these questions. Good. Thank you so far. Then I would like uh, maybe to start with the first que uh, question to you. Um, basically, I would like to ask you, what's your experience with Fronius, uh, with Fronius inverters? Um, is that, uh, do you know already uh, the, only the product range, uh, the existing product range? Uh, have you ever, have you also installed Fronius inverters? Uh, are you using other products, but you're interested in uh, Fronius inverters? Or have you heard about the Fronius Gen 24 inverters and you would like to get more details about that? Good, I get already uh, some feedback. Thank you very much. I'll wait another a few seconds now. Good. Um, nearly half of you have already selected. Great. I'll, I'll wait another one minute and then I will close this uh, poll. Um, yeah. So I think it's fine now. Thank you very much for your feedback. I'll show you the result. Basically, uh, most of you know uh, Fronius Inverter, the product range. 29% uh, have already installed, actually, as well, the uh, Fronius Inverters, uh, and then another 20%. Uh, using other products and 14% have heard already about the Gen24. Great, good. Thank you very much. And now I will uh, continue with my presentation. Uh, I would like to explain you in the next 30 minutes, uh, first of uh, all, the, the main features of the product, uh, and then especially the planning, flexibility in planning, also the installation, uh, how it works, and also the service. So these are the main uh, topics for this uh, this presentation. Basically, uh, what was the basic idea to uh, start with the Gen24 uh, inverters? There we had uh, the focus on the customer's needs. And uh, as, as we know, people want to have the uh, a green energy future, and they want to be uh, do something for that. Uh, second uh, main motivation is as well they want to uh, use uh, their own energy, so increase the self consumption of the PV system. Uh, another motivation is that they want to use the energy at a later stage because they aren't at home uh, during daytime, and of course would like to use the bed that with a battery later on. Uh, and also they would like to be more independent in the case of blackout, what uh, 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 can I still continue to supply my electric consumers or not? They want to do that with their PV system because they have a PV system. Um, then basically they also would like to integrate uh, for example, EV uh, charging stations in their PV system uh, to charge the EV from their uh, PV system. And finally, uh, last but not least, the monitoring, the smart uh, monitoring, where you can uh, see everything, uh, what, what's going on in the system and uh, you know from, ever, from ever, wherever you want uh, what's What's the situation? Good. Then um, this is the main motivation. Basically, 
this is what we have integrated in this new product, the Fronius Gen 24 Plus Inverters. So Gen 24 comes from the generation 24, 24 hours sun. Uh, our uh, target uh, to more or less to use PV energy 24 hours a day. Yeah, the Thronius uh, 1024 uh, plus inverter, uniquely versatile, uh, comes in two versions. Uh, basically, the Primo uh, is a single phase and the Sumo is a three phase unit. Uh, basically, power classes from three to six kilowatt on the Primo, so the smaller ones up to six kilowatt, and uh, the Sumo. The three phase unit comes in the power classes from six to ten. So there will be different power classes in between. Uh, actually, it's a six, eight, and ten kilowatt. And this is the Sumo, is also the one where we start uh, in this summer. Uh, the, the first product launch will be in July with this product, the Sumo 1024. The Primo will come a bit later. Uh, we have no uh, exact detail uh, launch date so far, but we will come uh, back to you with this information very, so very soon. And uh, we have on both inverters two MPP trackers and one battery input. So on all of these inverters, you can connect the battery and you have two uh, uh, MPP trackers uh, individually, which here where you can connect up to three strings, so two on one on the first one and one on the second. Yeah, but uh, what was uh, uh, what was what is uh, to say about the green energy future for uh, customers who would like to do something uh, for the energy transition? Uh, basically, they would like to have, of course, they need a reliable basic system, and this is. Uh, what we can offer with these inverters, because you can start uh, with this product pretty simple as, as you do with a grid connected inverter. Uh, with that, you reduce your energy costs uh, and you uh, use, it, use your energy, your electricity from the PV system. But you have all the expansion possibilities, and I will come to the expans expansion possibilities in, uh, in a minute. Uh, so you're ready for the future with this product. And uh, very important, of course, highest quality of the uh, components what we're using, uh, high uh, ex long experience, long on the market, you know, for our already since 1946 on the market and uh, with solar inverters since 1995. So we have uh, a real good experience and of course, very important as well, a good support team who can answer your questions whenever you have your questions, even the next years, not now. Yes, uh, the first step is actually uh, where we, uh, if you go to expansion, when you when you think about uh, higher self-consumption, the first step is always energy management. And we have here uh, the so-called Fronius Energy Flow Management, what we're offering. This means that you connect a smart meter on the feeding point, the Fronius smart meter. You do a load profile analysis, so you know what's going on in the house, how many, uh, ener how much energy is consumed, uh, at what time, and so on. Uh, and then you uh, start the first step with the load management. The load management, we're offering here four digital IOs where we can start uh, any consumers in the house or loads in the house and uh, more or less, for less let, uh, start the air condition, for example, and use more of your PV power. And uh, finally, last but not least, uh, of course, you increase your self consumption with that and you have a good high self consumption. And you know what's going on, of course. The second step uh, could then be uh, for real very high maximum self-consumption is the hot water generation. We have here a solution as well. This is the so-called Fronius on pilot, which you can integrate as well. And this controls a heating road in the, in the boiler, the hot water tank. 
to produce hot water during daytime. So we use for that only the sun energy and only the surplus energy. So only the energy which you would feed into the grid will be used for hot water generation. And that's also a kind of an efficient storage solution uh, because you store your energy already uh, uh, during daytime in this hot water tank. As bigger the hot water tank is more storage. Uh, and so with that you have also a kind of uh, solution for few days hot water. The second step uh, then could be the battery solution, the battery storage. Uh, and you can connect the, the, the B by D battery for the first uh, stage. We are working on different other manufacturers of batteries, but we're starting with the battery, the B by D battery, premium, HVS and HVM. So the high voltage uh, solution here, S and M, uh, these are the, diff the two different uh, versions from B by D. Um, these batteries are easy to retrofit. You can retrofit that easily also at the later stage. You increase with that the self-sufficiency. So not only the self-consumption, but also the self-sufficiency because you are, are using the energy at nighttime as well. And uh, we can offer here very high charging and discharging power of up to nine kilowatt. So when you use the bigger batteries, you can really uh, charge a lot of energy into the battery. So when you have a 12 kilowatt or 15 kilowatt PV system, you can uh, really charge a lot of that energy into the battery and you can use the, that as well at nighttime then for your consumption. Uh, what batteries are available or what batteries are comp compatible with uh, our Gen24 inverters? Uh, basically, uh, first of all, it's again a lithium iron phosphate battery, a very safe uh, battery. Uh, the battery uh, comes in uh, modules. As you can see here with four modules. For example, if it's the HVS version, then it would be a 10 kilowatt hour battery. If it's the HVM version, this would be 11 kilowatt hour battery. So the um, the batteries come, uh, the HVS goes from 5.1 to 10.2 kilowatt hours and the HVM from 11 to 22.1 kilowatt hours. So we have also here a bigger storage capacity now with this uh, HVM battery and we can also offer as well that for small solutions with only 5.1 kilowatt hours. Um, the the uh, Batteries are also retrofitable, the modules, so you can add battery later on as well. Uh, if you have only maybe five, six uh, modules from the HVM, you can add another two modules uh, to increase the capacity late, at the later stage as well. And uh, the installation is very easy. It's ground mount, uh, easy commissioning. But in a few minutes, you do the commissioning. Uh, so very easy step, you have wiring just uh, plus minus to the battery and uh, communication cable. Uh, one of the main features of our battery solutions, of our battery inverters, is the multi-flow technology. And the multi-flow technology offers basic, basic functions of a PV system, so use the PV power for their own household consumers. But then, uh, of course, as well, uh, feed in the surplus. Another thing is, of course, now we can now charge the battery during daytime whenever we have surplus energy. From your smart meter will measure this energy and uh, send the energy to the battery, charge the battery. Whenever we need more energy uh, during daytime, we use the energy from the battery as well, parallel to the energy from the PV generator. Additionally, we can also charge the battery from AC if we want, if we have probably very easy cheap or, or a cheap energy tariff for a moment, we could also charge the battery from, from the AC side or as well also from a second PV inverter. For example, you have an existing PV system uh, uh, with a SIMO a 20, 20 kilowatt PV system, you integrate that into the system and with this 
you can also charge the battery and also use uh, that uh, for energy for nighttime. So with that, you can achieve quite high uh, power uh, up to 30 kilowatt for peak, for example, and with the battery of 22 kilowatt hours. And of course, at nighttime, you will use the energy uh, for your households and uh, for household consumers and uh, be more or less independent. That's a multi-flow technology, and this is uh, gives you as an installer the advantages of adding uh, as well uh, could be for example as well an AC cable system uh, through existing uh, solar, solar inverter, or you can also uh, do it as as we told you before uh, as a DC cable system. Now. Uh, Let's talk about safety and uh, grid outage. What happens when there is a, a blackout or something like that? Uh, we have uh, two solutions with the Gen24. The first one, the inexpensive solution uh, to be in energy independent is uh, the PV point solution. And this works with or without a battery. So even without battery, you can use the energy from your PV system uh, in a blackout situation. And that's uh, also the so-called PV point basic back, uh, backup power. So that's something where you uh, just have a socket, a 230 volt socket anywhere close to the inverter. Uh, and this uh, socket will then be supplied in case of a grid outage. Uh, let's see how it, uh, more details about that. Uh, basically, you supply only uh, this one socket. It can be, of course, more than one. It can be as well as three, four. Um, but they will be supplied only in case of a grid outage. It's automatic reconnection. So whenever we have uh, energy, the energy comes back, uh, we, of course, you get your, back, your energy back uh, into the system. Uh, we can uh, connect here electric loads up to three kilowatt, single phase. Here, yeah, be careful, only single phase. Uh, and for a short moment, we can uh, have also more than four kilowatt uh, available for the starting of uh, any consumer. Uh, we can uh, have a little bit higher output power as well. That's very easy to install, no additional cost. And uh, it's a kind of basic solution for all the customers who don't want to spend too much money in backup power. Of course, then uh, the other solution is as well uh, possible, like as you know, probably with our Simo hybrid inverter, very similar to that, is the full backup power. And this is a three phase backup power supply. If you use the Simo, of course, uh, it's the overall supply of the entire household. So you, you can run all your loads in the house uh, with this power. Uh, there is a, a short time to switch over. It's about 60 seconds uh, where you have no power and then the virtual starts and reconnects again in off-grid off mode. Uh, the electric load can be, of course, single or three-phase, that's clear, and uh, the uh, maximum energy consumption is possible with parallel this and charging and charging of uh, the, the battery. So we also charge the battery from our PV system on the next day, when the next day is a sunny day again, uh, the battery will be charged again, so you can run uh, your house as well uh, for many, a few days blackout, let's say, you can supply your house because uh, the PV system is charging the battery again on the next day and you uh, have your battery again to be used. So that's the full backup. And uh, uh, of course, for that, you need uh, conductors and a switch uh, in, in the switchboard uh, because we need to switch off the grid connection in this in case of a blackout first before we restart the inverter in off-grid mode. So that's uh, but that's the same as we use on, on, on a Sumo Hybrid and maybe you know from other inverters as well. 
Now, uh, um, last stage uh, of the energy management is uh, third party uh, communication and e-mobility. So we can uh, we offer as well open interfaces on the on this inverter where you can e easily integrate home automation systems or EV charging stations, different charging stations or different heat pumps. Um, because we we give out the information uh, via our open interface, it's a communication uh, via LAN on, on the Ethernet plug where you could uh, get uh, get out the signals or also Wi-Fi of course. Um, you get a Modbus uh, Modbus RTU or Modbus TCP Sunspec protocol. Uh, here to be read out from the heat pump or the third party monitoring or the uh, e mobility charger. We have also as well the digital IOs. I told it already, this is our load management where we have four IOs to control loads uh, with on off signal. Uh, and the other, the other one, the mode boost, would be, then be used for this uh, dynamic power control of, uh, for example, an EV charger. Another, another uh, protocol is the Fronius Solar API, the JSON protocol. This is also uh, another possibility to connect to a heat pump or an EV charger or whatever. So with that, we offer here a possibility to add as well third party components and as soon as these uh, third party components can read out uh, these protocols, what puts TCP or Solar API, for example, in most cases, then we can uh, connect that to the inverter via the router very often, and uh, the device will know the surplus energy and can run the load accordingly, according to this available power. Yeah. Now let's, uh, let's see the planning or the uh, system design of the N24 inverters. We give you in the power classes 6, 8, and 10 kilowatt, a very broad voltage range from uh, let, uh, only 80 volts to 800 volts, maximum of 1000 volt DC. And with that, you can uh, connect one long string of let's say 20 modules, but also on the second MVP tracker, a string of only three modules. Whenever you have a small array available, small uh, roof where you can place three modules, you can add that to the uh, SIMO plane 24. Uh, as I told you, we have two MVP, two MVP inputs, uh, the first one with 25 amps, the second one with 12.5 amps. And the battery input uh, is with the 22 amps, so that has been increased as well from 16 to 22 amps. Uh, and we have a nice oversizing of 150%. That means we can uh, get a, a 15 kilobyte peak system on the SIMO 10 inverter. That's so-called super flex design, very similar to the the existing snap inverters, but with some more features and some more higher currents, uh, MPP trackers, and this very low input voltage. Yeah, there, there's also a feature integrated uh, for shading, uh, the so-called dynamic peak manager. Uh, and this is a shader management, which is integrated in all these inverters, uh, and this avoids losses despite by partial shading, especially morning, evening shadows, uh, can be easily uh, be sorted out and you don't need to use uh, op power optimizers, which is additional electronic on the roof, which you should avoid actually, uh, if possible, and the only on the very, uh, on the roofs with very high shading, you will probably need uh, optimizers or smart modules. But in most cases, uh, let's say 95% of the roofs are with this dynamic peak manager uh, is, is enough to, so to, to uh, have a good uh, a yield even in a shadow situation. Yeah, and another nice feature 
what makes it flexible, more flexible for you is the uh, active cooling technology. So we have a fan, which you can see on the front, the big one in the middle. Uh, this gives a uh, very good cooling on any place in the house. So it can be uh, under the attic, it can be as well uh, outdoor, outside in on the hotter places. We have a good cooling and with the good cooling, we uh, increase the lifespan of the power electronic. Uh, we get more yield because there is no uh, limitation. Whenever you, you the inverter gets too hot, we have a less weight. The uh, inverters are uh, not not very heavy. The 10 kilowatt unit is about 25 kilos only, uh, and you are more flexible uh, with the installation because uh, you can install it everywhere and it's. Uh, very easy to uh, uh, to handle the inverter. Yeah, and now come back to this uh, installation and commissioning. Uh, basically, uh, you start with the uh, wall bracket, which you mount on the wall. Then you snap in the inverter. You hang it in on top and snap in. Similar to the little bit similar to the snap inverters. Uh, then uh, we have fast locking screws, so only 180 degrees to the left and you open the front panel and uh, the wires are connected on spring connections. So you just open these, this orange uh, tool here and uh, plug in the, the cable and close it. That's it. And connect the, connect the connector to the inverter and that's it. Uh, everything is done. So you see a very uh, easy, fast way to go. The commissioning, uh, for the commissioning, we have also one uh, improvement. We've got a, a new app, the Start app, which will be launched in June. So in a few weeks from now, uh, on that one, you see here, uh, so you, you just press on the front of the inverter. Uh, there is a, a small button. Uh, you open the access point, connect uh, with the app, and then you go through these three steps, uh, very easy steps, uh, automatic Wi-Fi connection, and uh, then you are ready. And this can be done within five minutes. Uh, so very quick, straightforward commissioning. Yeah, the monitoring is very similar on the Gen24. It's Again, the solar web tool, I guess you already know that. Maybe uh, for, for some of you who don't know it, uh, this is our uh, online portal where we uh, visualize uh, the data of the PV system. Uh, we have here also energy flow monitoring. We, can, uh, we have a bubble chart where we see the energy flow at the moment as well uh, from the day, month, and year. Uh, we have a simple consumption analysis tool where you can read out the uh, own consumption or self-consumption of the house. Uh, we, uh, you get automatic notifications. That means whenever there's any problem with the inverter, we will send out an email to you or to the installer uh, to get the information that there's something wrong, possibly. Uh, we have a remote update of the inverter possibility. So you don't need to go visit the customer. You do it from home. And a new feature is as well the storage simulation as well for the own pilot, as well for the battery. So whatever you do, whenever you have data available from the system, um, you, you can visit the customer in a year uh, you do the simulation with battery and work with the own pilot, for example, and tell him uh, how the uh, self-consumption and self-sufficiency will develop when they integrate a battery. Or let's say as well, what's the best battery size, uh, what is recommended to be used. So that's a, a nice additional new feature. Yeah, then Last point, the service. Of course, also service is a very important topic for Fronius. We always uh, are very keen to offer the best service. Uh, uh, with the Gen24, we have a very a simple system because we 
are you're getting the, all the components of the inverter. Uh, so we don't need to exchange the whole inverter, but also the components. And there are only a few components, as you can see, the uh, or as the, the wall bracket, then the uh, power module uh, and the uh, data manager. It's called a bit different, but it's kind of data manager card and the front panels. Um, you get these automatic notifications, uh, as explained before via SolarWeb. Uh, and then you start your troubleshooting from home as well with SolarWeb. You know uh, the situation, what's going on. You can see the status codes. You know uh, that what's, what's uh, you can find in the list what's uh, here, the, the, the situation, what can be wrong. And then you can order the components and with one trip to site, you solve the problem. This is the target here. You don't want to visit the customer twice, do it with one trip. Easy accessible connection area. Uh, you know, the connection is uh, uh, very uh, on the bottom, nice to be, nice to handle and a very fast solution as well uh, because you are really quick with this uh, uh, service concept. Good, that's it, that was the Fronius Gen 24 Plus uniquely versatile, versatile uh, all-in-one solution, the Fronius Gen 24. Good, uh, now that's the end of the presentation and I would now like to ask uh, Christoph to give us uh, uh, your questions and maybe to answer a few of them live now. Christoph, can you hear me? Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, yeah, we got a few questions just to uh, answer a few of them live. One of the questions was regarding the battery backup. Uh, so actually the backup function and where do we need a battery? So um, as Hans already explained, there are two options. One is the PV point, the single phase backup power. Uh, there we don't necessarily need a battery connected to it, but it's also possible, of course. And for the three phase full backup version, there we need, uh, it's mandatory to have a battery connected to the inverter. Yeah, that's to that. And the second question was regarding the commissioning. Uh, is it still possible to commission the inverter, like with the snap inverters, with uh, the laptop via LAN or Wi Fi? And yes, that's possible, still possible. But with the new app coming soon, it's much more convenient and much more uh, user-friendly designed. So it, it's more, it, it's better to use the app, but still possible to do it otherwise. All right. Um, okay. Um, I think we, yeah, we still a few questions left, but uh, I would just hand over to you, Hans, and I will try to answer them via text message. And uh, uh, yeah, then I just hand over to you to close the webinar then. Okay, Christoph, thank you very much. Uh, yes, uh, as Christoph said, we will continue to answer your questions now uh, and like to switch off the microphone. Uh, I hope the um, presentation was interesting for you. You will get the data, uh, this uh, recording tomorrow as well, the presentation. So for everybody who haven't been uh, uh, in, and the presentation for the uh, whole uh, the, at this time. Uh, so don't worry, you get it and you can maybe one, see it once again. Uh, yes, and I wish you, wish you good luck, uh, all the best and stay healthy and hopefully see you or hear you soon again at one of our next webinars. Thank you very much and goodbye. Bye.